I'm Phil, and this is my channel where I do all things crypto. I've got another YouTube channel called Phil Review Software, where I review software. And this channel, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but in crypto, which is keep it simple and demonstrate how to use tools, how to use services in crypto the easiest way. Uh, caveat, because it's crypto, not for financial advice. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. So I'm going to show you how to do it, but just so that you can watch and be entertained. Don't do it yourself. I know it's crazy, but we've got to do those caveats in crypto. Today, I'm going to show you Mizar, which is an automated trading platform. OK, so it's got trading bots that link up to the main exchanges and it will do the trades for you. The money actually stays on the exchange, but it does the trades uh, and it's a good service. It's got lots of different bots and some of the percentages these bots make are, well, high. Uh, but of course, caveat again. You could lose money uh, just because something's doing well. It doesn't mean it's always going to keep on performing like that. It's a uh, funny old world, crypto. Uh, we're in 2023. It's March 23, all right? So uh, we're looking at Mizar here. Um, this is the dashboard where you sign up. Um, basically, how they do charge, uh, A, on your volume of your trade, you pay a percentage to Mizar, uh, and B, you might pay the trader you're copying a percentage. So that's their fees and how they make their money. Um, and here are the exchanges that you can sign up to. Um, so if you are on Binance, uh, Binance US, KuCoin, KuCoin Futures, uh, Coinbase Pro, Woo, Bybit, Hooboy, uh, Mex, Ox, uh, also Crypto.com and BitGet. Actually looking at it, you do also, hang on, let scroll down, I'm trying to find it. But it is also going to be trading on the DEX exchanges as well. Things like Uniswap and PancakeSwap. Uh, the other thing you can do as well with Mazar is you can try it for no risk with paper trading. Okay, so you could link up a Binance paper trading account and you could pretend to trade using the bots and just see if it's for you. Uh, the annoying thing, of course, with that is, is if your bot makes yourself, makes loads of uh, profit, uh, it's not real profit. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's how it works. And we go to the marketplace, okay? So here is the marketplace. And you can see that the top performing bot has made 86%, and that's in 30 days. That's not the annual percentage rate. The top performing bot on Mizar this month, 86% in 30 days all right but i've got to show you this for just clarity so that you can see so as we scroll through there's 168 strategies so these are you know whether these whether you call these bots or you know or strategies basically there's either dca can you see at the top there dollar cost average bots or api bots okay now, a DCA bot, dollar cost average, that will be. So dollar cost averaging means investing into something at the same point. So whether the crypto market is up or down, it will invest on a regular basis at regular intervals. So you are not affected. You you don't decide. You're not. Emotions don't rule the investment. So it might be that Bitcoin and the coins are high, you invest, uh, or it might be that they are low, but you're, you're investing regularly. So in time, You've sort of it's a long term strategy that if you believe in the future of the coins that you invest into. OK, so the reason I'm waffling away here is let's just scroll down and let's get down to the lower strategies. All of these strategies are actually making money at the moment. They're in the positives. But if we get down into the bottom half of the leaderboard, you will see that some are making 0% and some are actually in the red. OK, um, so you've got to understand that some of the bots might perform well and then suddenly you know go down there you go so if you had your money in the mega bot at the moment it's 66 percent down this month i'm just making that so that you can see and you have you know even though these are automatic automated trading strategies if you decided to try your bot i do suggest that you know you say right i'm going to check this though every you know so often whether it be every day or every three days you know just to make sure that it is still performing okay um if we look at this one, the highest performing bot, and we can look at the trading history, so this is where it's good as well. You can see that this bot has actually only been running through February. So it made that 86% in February. Where is it this month? Uh, I'm not sure where we can see that. So uh, it doesn't, right. So last seven days, has it traded? I don't think it's opened any new trades this month. So it did make that money in. So possibly you wouldn't want to get into that because it's not trading now. Let's go back and let's have a look at another bot. And let's go to most popular bots because I'm thinking the most popular bots will probably have a bit of history behind them. All right. So the most popular bots, let's have a look. Uh, this one's the most popular one. Well, let's have a look at their statistics. 
Okay, so this is an auto DCA dollar cost averaging bot uh, with D trading with uh, USDT, which is a stable coin. Um, and you can see that, wow, that's been going since the 1st of, ja uh, of since January 2022. So it's, it's had a year of trades. And you can see that in January 2022, it made 18%. So you can see that every month it's made a profit. It had a really good July. All right. Even on the bad months, it made 2% and 8%. And in December, it only made 0.2%. But it's still, you know, made a profit on on the investment. And then, all right, and it seems to be doing okay again. And it's made 2% so far in March. So you've, you know, you've just got to do your own research. Have a look at a bot. You know, you might, it depends on you as a person. You know, if you tend to gamble, you might go, right, just go with the highest, see how it goes. Or you might want to invest in a bot that's got a track record. So there's all your bots. I'll just show you the fees. So, for example, let's see this one. Does it show the fees? Right. So say you invested in the daily profits bot. When it makes profit, you will pay 15% commission to the person who runs the bot. Okay. So if the bot makes $100, you will pay them 15%. But that will ultimately be taken out of your profit. And hopefully you'll still profit after the 15% is taken out. And there are other fees that you pay Mizar. Okay. So depending on your you know, your level. I'll show you in a minute. But but yeah, so basically, depending on your trading volume or how many Mizar tokens, I've just noticed that you hold, uh, you pay a certain fee as well. And that is on the volume of trading. Okay, that's the bots. Now, you've got to have linked up your exchanges. So if I just go back to Marketplace and I want to find, I think I've only got, I've only got, um, my Bybit account linked at the moment. So I've got to find a bot that is on Bybit. There are 89 of them, so I'm okay there. So say I want to go on that steady uh, trading bot and I want to invest in that now. Uh, I will select my Mizar. So I will select my, I think it's Miz2 is my key. And I will set up my investment and I will say that I'm going to put $100 into it. I've got to, yeah, it's, it actually says, so you've got to keep an eye on this. Really, your minimum expected investment for this is 503 So I would have, I'm not going to do this. I've got to put $600 into it. Uh, it's telling me that my expected, the amount of assets expected to be invested at a single time are $600. But also the maximum that could be invested in a, at a single time, $1,700. So you've got to be careful there. Or, or I've got to be careful. You're watching this for entertainment only. And then you can tick the box if you want to reinvest your profits. So when it makes profits, do you reinvest them or do you want to take those profits out? That is up for you. So if you wanted to do that, I've actually only got $301. So I couldn't do that at the moment because that's what I've got in my account. So here is the bot that I have been using. Um, and I should have kept an eye on it. I could probably swapped it to another bot. This one was a Sol strategy because I thought this one will invest in, in the Sol coin, which I'm quite interested in. Um, and yeah, you can see that oh, it, I, I, it, it's in the positive. I have made money on it. Don't get me wrong. I think I started with $400 uh, and I am up. But it's not making fortunes, even though I'm reinvesting my profits. So it might be time for me to have a look at it and invest in another bot. But I have actually used it, okay? Uh, so there you go. Um, you will, when you join, click Add Exchange. Um, I'll make separate videos for this if this is above your head. But basically, when you want to, say, add Binance, if you're on Binance, you'll have to go into Binance and either create or copy your API key, put the name for it in there, put the public and the private API, never share your APIs with anything. That allows Binance and Mizar to talk to each other, and it allows Binance, uh, Mizar to make the trades on your behalf. Uh, so you put your API keys in and connect them all up. So that's how you do it. Um, if you've not got any exchanges yet, as I say, I will be making videos of how to join up to an exchange. Have a look at the bots, pick one you want to do, invest something into it or try it with paper trading and see how it goes and do, do keep an eye on it. So there you go. I think that is it, really. Let me just show you um, the costs and everything. All right. So where are we? Show you the fees just so you know and how you do it. So basically, there's no subscription fees, but you pay for your trades. All right. So say you start off, you'll be on the lower package, you'll be on the nebula uh, and you would pay 0.07 of your trades, so less than 1% of your trades, you'll pay as a fee to Mazar. That will go down in time, you know, the more you trade. And even though that $50,000 sounds like a lot, if you're using these bots all the time, and if you've got money in them and they're making trades all the time, it doesn't mean you're going to have $50,000 
in these trading bots. But if it's trading, you know, you might find yourself get up to that. Uh, also, if you hold some bizarre tokens, so I just noticed it, they are launching their token, the bizarre token, in a couple of days. If you hold 10,000 of the bizarre token, it will reduce your fees as well. So they're the fees. And just finally, to show you how you would pay your fees, so you can see that I've got $22 in credit. Basically, to pay your fees um, to Mizar, you click buy credits and you can send your fees, you know, via Binance, you know, in BUSD. Okay, so just as you would send money, that's how you can send your fees to Mazar. And that is Mazar, um, an interesting platform with lots of trading bots. And as I say, they are launching their token. The link is in the description of this video so that you can sign up to Mazar. It is my affiliate link, so thank you for that. It does help me support the channel, but uh, it doesn't cost you any more. So appreciate that. And um, yeah, not financial advice, but uh, if you do have a try with it, on the paper trading possibly, just to try it out, let me know how you get on. And uh, thanks for subscribing to my channel. All right. As I say, small time at the moment because it's my brand new crypto channel, but it really helps in the early days of channels if you subscribe and just get me going. Cheers, everybody. See you next time um, with another one. I'm going to do ones about the exchanges now. Very basic videos.